Continuing that forestry theme, time for another look back, this time to 2016, a pair of brothers chosen as that year's outstanding loggers of the year. Jason and Jeremy Flora followed in their father's footsteps as loggers from an early age. Former Farm Week host Troy Moling takes it from there. Together since 1999, and we started when we were six years old working in the woods. With a beginning like that, one might say Jason and Jeremy Flora's career was planned out by the time they hit elementary school. They cut their teeth by cutting wood for their father, a logger himself. Their childhood was spent honing their skills, even skipping school, to pitch in when one of their dad's workers didn't show. We enjoyed it. We grew up doing it, and, you know, we was making a pretty good living doing it. We was in the teenage years, we, uh, we would, uh, you know, we'd go haul us some pup wood and make money and all the kids thought, you know, we was rich because we'd go haul a couple loads of pup wood, we'd have $75 in our pocket and back then, you know, that was a lot of money. When they decided to make a go of it on their own, their dad gave them some old equipment to help them get the business off the ground. He kind of gave us that old scooter and old loader when we started and we cut with a chainsaw and in 1999 we bought a, I think it was an 88 model tree cutter. And that was the first tree cutter that we had. And that's what we learned to thin with and everything. Soon after, their big break came. Our first good job together, it was a, it was actually a track that a lot of people were trying to buy. It was a 55 acre track at, at an, in a little community called Clarkston. And uh, it had a lot of light poles on it. We cut it together and you know, done good on it. And that's, I, that's where the track I think that really got us going is that track right there. Little by little, their reputation grew. Business is good with as many as three supervised crews working different jobs. The Floras own six logging trucks and have contracts on seven more. They even bought their first new knuckle boom loader in 2005. The brothers specialize in thinning pine plantations. Jeremy negotiates with landowners and Jason takes the lead on the equipment side. We work together in the woods, you know, if, if somebody misses, I'll fill in or, or he'll fill in. So, you know, it, it, it works good together having a partner because if I need to take off and go fishing, I can, I, I've got the uh, ability that I can take off and go fishing. And if he needs to go to ball tournaments with his little girls, uh, he can take off and go and we've got somebody there to run the show, you know. It takes both of us to run the size operation that we're running, you know. I'd hate to know I come out here and had to run it by myself. This well-oiled logging machine caused the Mississippi Forestry Association to take notice in the form of a nomination for Outstanding Logger of the Year. What was a nomination has now turned into a win. Actually, the nomination came forth from one of our uh, association board members who had personally had uh, Flora to log their timber and were just uh, completely satisfied with the job that they did. That award is selected by our Timber Harvesting Committee, and the Timber Harvesting Committee is made up of members from across the state, folks that work for various uh, forestry industry companies and, and other groups uh, across the state. They're looking for a logger that has a, a good business sense and good business abilities. Uh, safety record is really important for that committee when they select the Outstanding Logger of the Year. In fact, since forming the company almost 20 years ago, there hasn't been a single workday loss accident. As impressive as that is, in order to take the crown for Outstanding Logger of the Year, the winner must also possess professionalism when it comes to dealing with people and the environment. What sets the Flora Brothers apart is their honesty. Even if it's an eight-year-old lady or a 50-year-old guy who has the knowledge on forestry and know what to expect, the payment is the same. So they handle everything and they'll give them the paycheck by the end of the day. That's kind of the thing, theme that you hear over and over is they treat people like, like you would want to be treated. They're very friendly, they're a part of their community, they support their local uh, organizations, the civic organizations, the schools. Uh, the local businesses, uh, they're just a, a very integral part of their communities. Everybody knows them, everybody likes them, 
and uh, you just couldn't ask for better neighbors. Uh, that you'd like them as neighbors as well as loggers. The interactions they have with the landowners is just fantastic. They're they're willing to look out for the landowners, and they have a good relationship with everyone they work with. Uh, which is a huge benefit for them and a huge benefit for the landowners they work with. To be the winner is just a, a huge uh, plus for the company, for the for them personally as well. It shows just you know how, what they do for the industry and how well they take care of themselves and their workers and the landowners and the, just the natural resource that we have out here. Um, you know, you can look around here and if you don't. You don't see any trees scratched up from the equipment. They, they take care of it. Through it all, they've managed to make sure family stays at the forefront of the family business, even if a friendly sibling rivalry sometimes gets in the way. It's still like that today. And if he talks about something he can do out here better than anybody running a knuckle boom or a tree cutter, you know, we all laugh about it and just go on. And I tell him I'm better at it, but I don't tell him. <laughs> well, we always pushed each other because, uh, you know, this and I always wanted to be the top one, you know. Uh, we got old enough to start running chainsaws, you know, we, we'd fight to whoever could cut the wood up with the chainsaw. It's always a, a push for each other. He, he, uh, he, he comes at me and uh, says, oh, you ain't doing nothing. I said, yeah, I, I'm doing more than you think I did. You ain't answered my phone 50 times today. Other members of the family are involved in flora logging too. Their wives, Kimberly and Ashley, work together to make sure day-to-day -day operations run smoothly behind the scenes. They're really smart and they keep the business side of this thing going. Um, my wife does all the stumpage work and uh, pays, pays the stumpage out. And it's a, when you go through 120, 130 loads a week and you hauling on three different landowners and you got 20 trucks hauling some weeks and you know it's, it's a lot of paperwork goes into it and then Jason's wife pays the bills on the on the bill side of it and as much as equipment trucks and and employees and stuff as we got that's a you know that's a lot of work going out in a week too. There's even been talk of bringing in Jeremy's oldest son to help run the business one day. In the meantime the Flora brothers will have no shortage of customers. If you want them to cut your trees today, you better hurry up today and, and, and book them because the wait time is two years. For them to get this award, it will help them market themselves even better. I guess now the waiting time will be three years. Always fun to look back. Troy Moling, by the way, now works at the University of Nebraska. He's the host of an ag show called Market Journal.